Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hoping you have a great day today. It is Tuesday. It's also a coffee kind of day. Should actually be drinking tea as this cold still kicking my butt. But, uh, oh well. Um, watching Sea of Tranquility last evening with um, Mr. Uh, Pete Bardot and guest. I can't recall the guest's name. Uh, I've seen him on there many, many times. Uh, and they do a cool ranking of other albums and, and bands. Uh, this time they were ranking the five studio albums, or their top five studio albums from uh, the Yardbirds. And uh, I thought, hey, I've got some Yardbirds. I'm going to show <laughs> the Yardbirds. So I get a lot of ideas from these guys. I get a lot of ideas from everyone out there. So thank you very much for doing amazing videos. But um, yeah. Um, hard to find originals. Uh, none of what I have are originals. All you find out there in the wild are comps. Um, but I've got some pretty decent stuff. But again, a lot of the stuff the same. But I'd still want to share those with you. So, the Yardbirds, amazing English rock band, formed way back in 1963. Kind of kicked our kick started uh, the careers of three major guitarists. Uh, Mr. Eric Clapton, who was with the Yardbirds from 63 to 65. Jeff Beck, who was with them from 65 to 68. And Jimmy Page from 66 to 68. Of course, Eric went on to have a pretty successful solo career. Still going today. Uh, we just lost Jeff Beck not too long ago. Uh, he was with the Jeff Beck group. I have saw him. Um, and I've seen Eric Clapton a few times as well. Uh, Jeff Beck did just something to that guitar that no one else could do. I saw him with uh, Jeff Healy and uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, one of my favorite, most favorite concerts. I just, it was so long ago, I wish I could rehash it and see it again. And of course, Jimmy Page went on to play with Led Zeppelin, and the rest is history there as well. Uh, Yardbirds also featured Keith Ralph on lead vocals and harmonica, Jim McCartney on drums, Chris Dreja on guitars and bassist Paul Samuel Smith. Uh, Samuel Smith uh, would leave in 1966, so um, Chris Dreja uh, moved to play bass. Um, they had some pretty successful hits. Um, For Your Love, Heart Full of Soul, Shape of Things, Over, Under, Sideways, Down, Say That Ten Times Fast. Uh, they only released six studio albums, 12 live albums, 10 comps, and 16 hit singles. Again, it's hard to find originals. Um, out there in the wild um, and um, he didn't Pete Pardo didn't have and he had a comp, he had a box set of them uh, like the greatest hits type of thing and he said that was enough for him um, the other gentleman had a couple of original uh, CDs but no no vinyl but um, I've got this one again this is not an original but it is their debut live album um, some of the earliest recordings with Eric Clapton Original release in 1964. This is on the Canadian Nardum Tapes label. This is five live Yardbirds. Um, apparently sounds quite different than the original album. Uh, not as polished. I don't mind it. It sounds pretty good. Um, this one originally came out in 1964. It never tells you on the Nardum Tapes when these came out. But um, this one's got uh, Too Much Monkey Business. Uh, I've got Love If You Want It, Smokestack Lightning, Good Morning Little School Girl, Respectable, Five Long Years, Pretty Girl, Louise, I'm a Man, and Here Tis. Um, no originals on this one uh, whatsoever. All covers, but uh, still pretty cool stuff. Um, again, there's uh, Young Eric Clapped in there for anyone who cares, but uh, pretty decent stuff. I've got a remastered version of Roger the Engineer. This is uh, as close as, the, as an original album as I can get. Um, originally released in the UK under Over, Under, Sideways, Down. And Roger the Engineer in the States uh, originally in 1966. This one came out in 2015. This is a remastered version. Um, I kept the hype sticker up here. It's on the Demon label. 180 gram vinyl, um, but uh, it's this one sounds 
really, really good. And um, I'll Jeff Beck on this one. I'll Jeff Beck. Um, come on, come on, come on. Sorry. It's sticky. But uh, yeah, Jeff Beck could just do so much with, uh, with his guitar. He really brought the band to the forefront. Um, that just seemed to come alive when he played with the band. Wow, this is really a lot of static on this one for sure. Um, the car I don't like the cover of this one. That's a pretty weak cover. But uh, still, the vinyl itself sounds amazing. Happy to have this one in my collection. Uh, the rest of them I have are, are compilations. Uh, again, another Canadian pressing. <coughs> this is on the Bomb label. Pardon me. Uh, Shape of Things. Um, this is uh, 1978 release. A double album. Um, Gatefold features both Jimmy Page and Jeff Beck on this album. And uh, I love the bomb label itself. It's pretty cool. It's upside down. There we go. Um, but you've got uh, Introduction, uh, Too Much Monkey Business, I Wish You Would, Good Morning Little School Girl, For Your Love, A Certain Girl, Got to Hurry, uh, Smokestack Lightning, Evil Hearted You, I love that track. Still I'm Sad, Steeled Blues, Train Kept a Rollin', Here Tis, What Do You Want, Good, good you, Sorry, New York City Blues, For RSG, Mr. You're a Better Man Than I, another great track, Jeff Blues, I Ain't Got You, I Ain't Done Wrong, they use a lot of ain't. <laughs> Some of the Love Part 1, Some of the Love Part 2, My Gal Sloopy, and Shape of Things. There's the band there. So pretty cool stuff. Again, a compilation. Same tracks here, same tracks there. I'm um, not sure where I found this one, but this is a German pressing of Shape of Things. Go figure. Um, 1981 release. I can't understand a word they're saying on there. But uh, this one is on the Aston label. Again, vinyl's in beautiful, beautiful shape. Again, Too Much Monkey Business, Steel Blues, Jeff's Blues, Some of the Love Part 1, Some of the Love Part 2. I Ain't Done Wrong, A Certain Girl, Here Tis for RSS, Shape of Things and A Certain Girl. Um, I don't know what year this... Oh, sorry, 1981. This one came out 1981. And finally, who came first? Again, on the Hardem tapes. Um, apparently, this one's out of production. Um, but uh, again, you get Shape of Things. I Ain't Got You, Someone to Love, Part 1. I Wish You Would. Got Honey in Your Hips. Uh, For Your Love, Some of the Love Part 2, Putty in Your Hands, and I'm Not Talking. Uh, no date of release on this one. But uh, you've got Renaissance, Illusion, Led Zeppelin, New Yardbirds. Then you got Jeff Beck Group, Beck, Bogart, A Peace Band. I love Jeff Bogart and A Peace. John Mayo Band. You get Cream with Eric Clapton Band. Uh, Graham Goldman, leader of 10CC on here. Uh, George... Gomelski, producer and manager of the Yardbirds, early manager of the Rolling Stones. They all kind of tied into the Yardbirds here. But that's it. That's my look at the Yardbirds. I uh, hope you enjoy and uh, love you all, guys. We'll talk to you again soon and take care. Bye now.